So you just shipped your products to your customers, but something happened. All of your labels are smeared. They are all scratched on the surface. The ink was damaged. The paper got damaged. So why is this happening? Let's find out together in this video. Hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado. I am a business professional in the world of label and packaging printing and I want to give to you today some advice on how you can improve the quality of your labels and how you can protect them against damage so you will avoid to have them all smeared and scratched. First of all, I will tell you the composition of a label and what are the materials that can be damaged the most. And then I will tell you solutions, both regarding the label itself and other kinds of protection that you can apply on your boxes or around your bottles to prevent those damages to happen in the first place. If you didn't yet, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about creating beautiful product packaging and labels and how to sell them to your final customers. So without further ado, let's get through this. So you're producing beer and you need labels for your beer, labels for your wine, labels for your oil. As you can see, many products need to have a label and many of those products will have a container that can be both made in plastic or made with glass. The thing is that the label itself will always be the most fragile element in your packaging. But don't worry, there are many ways in which we can improve it and make it stronger so that in the future you will never, never have scratches. First of all, you need to choose the material that you like the most that will protect your label design. First of all, you might want to have paper material instead of plastic. Paper material comes in many forms. You can have coated papers, which can come both in the glossy or matte depending on how they are coated and natural paper. For example, we have this uh, oil bottle and we have this natural paper, which has a very ecological feeling to it. The thing is they are made with pulp. So the pulp is made of a matter that is compressed together. So scratches, can actually damage it way more than plastic. Plastic, like for example, this beer label is made of polypropylene, which is a plastic that is very used in label production. It's a material that is very, very strong. So the thing about paper material in your label is that, let's take one for example, since it is made of pulp, it's breakable. So it is very, very susceptible to scratches anyway. So imagine your bottles are in a box and they are traveling kilometers, miles away from your home, from your business. The bottles will scratch together and the material will be damaged. The first thing that will be damaged is usually the ink but if the friction is higher, you can also damage the paper. When I'm still talking about paper, I mentioned before polypropylene, plastics, PVC, PET. There are many kinds of plastics that you can use for your products. And the biggest difference that you can tell while using, for example, here we have polypropylene for beer label, is that polypropylene by itself is not easy to break and that makes it stronger for scratches. Now keep in mind that right now I'm just talking about the material of the label. Let's move further. Another thing that can get damaged by friction during transport is ink. The ink, the nobilitations that you can actually see on a label. And which kind of ink is your label printed on? You need to ask your printer. 
uh, there are many different ways in which you can print your labels. Nowadays, some of the most used techniques are offset printing, flexo printing and digital printing. For example, inkjet printing, toner printing, and they have a different impact on the quality of the ink on top of your label. My suggestion for any kind of print, if you want to be sure, you need to protect it. The best and most cost-effective way to protect your labels is to varnish them. You can both varnish them glossy or matte. You can both varnish them with water-based varnishes or UV curable varnishes depending on the situation. Like for example, before we talked about natural papers and for example, in our case, we like to varnish them with a water-based varnish. So it doesn't compromise the very natural feeling of the paper. It is eco-friendly and it gives a little boost to the defensive system of the label. If we are talking about glossy labels or labels, printed on polypropylene or other kinds of plastic, I would suggest to use UV curable varnishes so that you can achieve a very good result and they will be scratch resistant. So the varnish will be on top of the ink so the ink will be protected. Next, we have a more defensive way of protecting your labels which is the process of lamination. Lamination is still a very cost-effective way of protecting your labels, but it costs more compared to varnishing. Lamination is the process of using another transparent plastic, both matte or glossy or soft touch, if you also want a touchy feeling to your label, that is layered on top of the label. This will make your label thicker and you have a plastic barrier that protects the label on top. This is one of the best way to protect your labels. It will make your labels stronger. It will make your labels more water resistant as well. For recycling purposes, I am suggesting to do lamination. Since we are laminating always with a plastic material, like again with polypropylene, you want to laminate labels that are already made of plastics. Moving on, since the thing that is damaging mostly your labels is transport, those labels are stretching against each other. If also varnishes and lamination is not working, I would suggest to invest some more money into defending them inside of the boxes. I'm talking about dividers both in paper and in carton and wrapping the bottles. When we're talking about dividers you need to be very careful. You don't want to pay for very cheap dividers because cheap dividers are rough paper and rough paper will act like an abrasive material so it will actually do more damage than using some smooth and higher quality dividers. The very last solution, but this is just if you're doing some small batches of production, if you have an e-commerce where people can buy different products and personalize inside of the same box, different bottles, different cosmetic products, different beers, different wine products, candles, etc. You want to wrap the single product into paper or bubble wrap. Obviously, the most eco-friendly solution would be to cover them in paper, but bubble wrap will be much more protective. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have more questions about how to defend the labels, of your products from scratches and avoid your labels to be smeared, please write all of your questions in the comment section down below and I will reply back to them. If this video was useful for you, leave a like and if you didn't yet, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about creating beautiful products, labels and packaging and how to sell them to your final customers. And as always, love you all, ciao!